is rough, unpredictable, daunting. A metaphor for a cancer diagnosis. And these kayakers are facing both. They'll take on chemo, radiation, surgery, and the surging white water. This is First Descents, a kayaking trip for people in their 20s and 30s fighting cancer. Well, if you're diagnosed with cancer, you're not alone, that it, no matter how old you are. There are 7,000 young Canadians diagnosed every year with a plethora of cancers. He said, you know, I hate to give you this kind of news, but, you know, we've got to face the fact that it's spreading and it's traveling through your lymph nodes into your lungs. So that's a really hard thing to face because there, there's no cure for that. There was no positive prognosis for this 39-year-old Ottawa teacher diagnosed with parotid gland cancer. The metastatic cancer is stage four and what do you do with that? It's like a building at night with the lights coming on. There's, there's the tumors just spreading everywhere. Naomi needed someone to understand what she was experiencing, someone on a cancer journey like her. That's when she signed up for First Descents, a whitewater kayaking adventure introduced in Barry's Bay in August 2011 on the Madawaska River. Ten cancer survivors participated, including Naomi. I wanted to meet them. And then I think it was within 30 seconds of talking to each of them, we were just automatically in a conversation that may have started years ago. Like, we felt like we've known each other forever. Naomi loves the outdoors, but had never been kayaking, nor had she ever socialized with other cancer patients in her age group. At first descents, the healing is designed to happen naturally, organically. There are no forced, awkward conversations, only challenges to push their limits, face their fears, and regain confidence. And it's the same thing as, as the, the flow of the river. You, you can't know what to expect. And you got to trust that you're going to make the right decision. You're going to be able to have those paddling skills down that river, that you're gonna, your doctors are going to provide for you the right care. And so there's a lot of similarities in terms of just taking that risk and going with the flow and really conquering something that you've never done before. The parallels are easily drawn between tackling whitewater kayaking and battling cancer. And in one short week, the survivors are empowered by their achievements on the water and the bonds forged with one another. You can't put a price on that experience. There's, it's priceless. There's no, no way that that um, can be taken from us and that feels really good too.